Now, as scientists rush to repair and restart the world's biggest and most complex physics experiment, the £4 billion Large Hadron Collider, two are arguing it's doomed. In a theory which echoes the science fiction epic Back to the Future, the physicists claim the mysterious particle which the collider is designed to create will effectively travel back in time to sabotage the machine before it can ever work. Where did we come from? Why are we here? Exploding the secrets of the universe takes very powerful experiments, and the single biggest scientific experiment on Earth, the Large Hadron Collider near Geneva, is about to be switched on again in an attempt to solve them. Key to its quest is smashing matter together at massive speeds to create the predicted Higgs particle. So fundamental to theories of the universe, it's earned the nickname the God Particle. But has physics created something so big? It's beyond control. One established Danish physicist has written what he's calling a theory for God, and the mathematical God simply won't allow the particle collider to work. It's a formula for which history of the universe, in agreement with the equation of motion, is going to be selected as the one that is realized. So it's somehow a formula about choosing the initial conditions to give thereby a certain development of the universe. Nielsen and his Japanese colleague Masao Ninomiya extrapolate from the theories of motion to argue that the Higgs particle, which the collider was designed to create, cannot possibly exist. It follows, they argue, that because a universe containing the particle can't exist, then that universe, God or otherwise, actually steps in to prevent the collider from creating it. The machine, they say, will be sabotaged by its own future. Though impressive on paper, it hasn't pleased scientists working on the collider. In an email, one described the idea as a degenerate form of creative thinking. They're particularly sensitive because their machine did in fact break down when they first switched it on last year. But that, they say, was due to a problem with wiring, not the universe. Nielsen admits if the machine works, his theory crumbles. If it really comes to full work, and if it is not somehow going only on lower energy or lower intensity, so that the number of Higgs particles is very small, then I think it is uh, essentially a discrediting our theory. I won't say that our theory will be totally dead if it does, but I think it is very bad for our theory. The collider is due to restart in November if the future doesn't intervene.